This is how to work with image links in Adobe Illustrator. When you have your open document in Illustrator, you're gonna wanna port in some pictures or different items sometimes, and everything that you bring into Illustrator is linked back to your computer. So what we first wanna do to show you an example of this is we're gonna bring in a file. So we're gonna go to File, we're gonna go down to Place, and once we do that, our window, our Explorer window, is actually gonna open up and our, or our Finder window if you're on a Mac. And we're gonna select one of our images. So I'm gonna select this first one. And I can place this anywhere on the canvas that I want. So now this is here. And it's linked. It's not directly embedded, it's linked. So it saves space on your computer or while the program is running, you don't have to worry about it bogging it down. It only reads off the file information and does not place it in your file. So you're not gonna have large file sizes or anything like that. So right now, we have this weird demon head thing that I created. And it's on fire, it's pencil-y, but this is the file that we're gonna take a look at. Now right now, we know that this is linked, but we don't know where to or what the information is, only that we selected it. So sometimes you have to edit those links and or change the items that we placed on the board. So we're gonna to go to our window and links panel. Once we click this, a little links panel is gonna pop up. Let me just get this out of the way. And you'll notice there's a small thumbnail with the name of your file in there. And at the bottom, you have several options. You have relink. Sometimes when you shift or you change your actual folder location or the file name, you'll have to relink the artwork that was linked in. And if you click that, you can then go in and if it was here, wherever it was in our Finder or Explorer window, you double click, select that, it will relink. The other option is go to link, which will then, if we click that, if we have multiple layers on our piece and we select this specific link item, it will jump to that item in our layers panel. So I'll show you that really quickly. Let's create several layers. And let's create, using the rectangle tool, a bunch of rank rectangles. So now we have a bunch of rectangles. And what we're gonna do is go to our links panel. We're gonna click go to link. And you notice that it skips everything that we've created and it immediately jumps to our link. So that's how you can find the linked artwork in your piece. Another thing is if you did change your link, when you do that, sometimes it won't register in Illustrator. Not immediately. So you can hover over this button, which is update link, and when you click it, it'll automatically refresh your changes so that you see the new image from your link that you relinked to. The last button, edit original, if you have a default program that opens the type of linked image you have in, let's say you have a Photoshop file or another Illustrator file, and you click this button while that image is selected in your links panel, it will open that native program so that you can edit that image and any changes you make in that program will be reflected in this one. So let's say right now, let's get rid of all of these items, except for the linked item. And let's say we wanna change this. Let's go here in our links panel. We don't have to select it and we go to the relink option. Let's say we change it to another file we have. This file is a Ghost Rider file that I did a while ago. And we open it up, and once we've opened it, you notice it replaces the file in the same orientation of the one that we had. And now this is our updated link. If I wanna go back, I can change it to the previous file, and it'll change accordingly in the same bounding box that the other file was. And that's how you work with links in Adobe Illustrator.